All right, welcome back to the Easy Peasy Music Theory course for kids. I'm Miss Christine and we have more learning to do, so let's not talk about it. Let's get to it. All right, so welcome to lesson 17 and I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so here we are, understanding time signature. Now, before I go into today's topic, I wanna talk about the metronome. And it kind of looks like a little clock, right? That ticks, if we were to pretend that that was a clock. But this is a metronome, and it's a music tool that helps us keep a steady beat, right? Remember we talked about steady beat? with an emphasis on the one being the strong beat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so if we work with a metronome, that would allow us to understand timing, signature, uh, or steady beat. So the first thing I'm gonna talk to you about is four, four time. And why is that important? Because when you see four, four time, that means that every measure gets four beats. So the steady beat pattern of four is measured in beats of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or we can say in music, four beats per measure. And you can see right here, the quarter note gets the one beat. Ta, 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 ta. One, two, three, four. So that's what it feels like in a four, four time signature. And I can go a little bit further and show you what it looks like. So the time signature tells us how many beats there are in a measure. Here is this little rectangular box that's light blue and you see a four, four time signature and we have how many quarter notes? One, two, three, four quarter notes in this measure, all equal four beats. And that's why we know that this is accurate because we have four quarter notes in this one measure in this time signature of four, four. So in a time signature, in a four, four time signature, the duration of notes in each measure must equal four. And what does that really mean? So if I was to take my pencil and draw a whole note here, right? We know a whole note gets four beats. So that would complete that measure. One, two, three, four, okay? Ta. And that is a complete measure. Everything equals four beats. This top number tells us that every note in the measure should equal four beats. Now let's look at another example. So right here, you see we have America the Beautiful, right? And we know America the Beautiful. We've heard it many, many times. But now look at the sheet music. The sheet music is telling us that it's in what time signature? All right, it's right here and we see four, four. So we know that each measure has four equal beats. And now let's take a listen and hear what it sounds like. Take a listen. So you can hear that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, now let's look at three, four time signature. And just by the name of three, four time signature, you probably already know that each measure is going to equal what? Three beats, or there's three beats in a measure. All right, and so in a three, four time signature, the duration of the notes in each measure equal three. We hear our, we see our three at the top and it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And we know the quarter note 
is telling us it gets one beat. That's why when we see the number four, we know that the quarter note gets the beat. Now let's listen to the three, four time signature. Here we go, take a listen. Good, that's our metronome, right? You can hear the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? And let me just go back to our time signature of four, four time. Um, and let me let you hear the time signature here. Here we go. All right, do you hear that? So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, good work. So we were talking about three, four time, but I wanted to go back and let you hear the four, four time signature. One, two, three, four. Now there is a song that I'm sure you've heard of that's in three, four time signature. And you betcha, it's happy birthday. So look at our time signature here. And you're gonna see it's in three, four time. And let's listen. Let's listen to the one, two, three. One, two, three, here we go. stop it there. So did you hear the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? All right. And that's our waltz time signature. Okay. The dance as we call it, the waltz dance. Okay. So nice, nice work, but we also have two, four time signature and just by the nature of two, four, you probably already know because you're so smart that each measure is going to get how many beats? That's right, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So let's listen to the metronome. Good, and it makes you feel like you wanna march, right? Yes. And so in a two, four time signature, the duration of notes in each measure equal two. That's right. And you can see right here, we have our quarter note one, two. All right. So there you have your two, four time signature. And now let's listen to another song called Good Morning, which is in what? Two, four time signature. Let's look here at this uh, time signature and you can see it's two, four. So let's listen now. Good, so did you hear that? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, all right, excellent, excellent job today. Well, we talked a little bit about time signature, four, four, time signature, three, four, two, four. Let's talk about what you learned and what's for homework. All right, so let's talk about what you learned today. As I mentioned already, we were talking about the time signature, but now you're able to distinguish between the uh, the four, four time signature, three, four time signature, and two, four time signature uh, in musical pieces. You were able to listen and hear the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, et cetera, right? Good work. So let's talk about our homework. So for this lesson, I'm going to ask you to look at these notes. We have a half note, let me get a pen, a quarter note and a quarter rest. And your job is to add up the notes two plus one plus one, right? Okay, is 
This is two plus one is three, three plus one is four. So this is four, four times signature. And that is what I want you to work on for homework, okay? So hopefully you understand what you need to do. Add those notes up. If it equals to four, that's a four, four times signature. If it equals to three, then it's three, four, and so on. Good job, and I'll see you in the next lesson.